Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carrojo again and one of my friends sent me this image in WhatsApp and he asked me where can I find this kind of luminaire and is it really effective to use in wall washing? So actually he's my client. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, th this um, because I worked in Zoom to Bell for how many years? So I'm familiar with this picture and I check, I think this is a slot light from Zoom to Bell. So I check it and I found that it's really from Zoom to Bell. Okay, so uh, yes, I told him I think it's a slot light. It's a linear fitting LED luminaire and really good for wall washing. Okay, so uh, if you want to use this one in your design, it's... Uh, it's very easy and it's very good in wall washing. Okay, I will create a small simulation showing this fitting. I'm not going to promote this one. I'm just uh, telling you that this one is really effective for wall washing. And we will do the same like this image. And uh, we will run a calculation so that you can appreciate this light more. Maybe other brands also have this kind of lean, slim linear wall washer. And the, the most important thing for this one to use is the offset of this linear fitting from the wall. Okay, so let's use and do it in our Dialux Evo. Okay, so I'm opening my Dialux software now. And then I will go directly now to a simple room planning. And I will say this is a standard, yeah, just let's go for the standard office. And I'll say the length of this uh, showroom is like 10 by six and the height because it's a, a showroom or a, a museum or exhibit hall so i'll just say the the height of the ceiling is like six meter also and say okay what we're going to do is we're going to create a wall washer for that wall okay so i'll go to the room and yeah so this is now our small showroom and i'll go to zoom to bell um, website and get that slot light Okay, so I'm here now at the Zoom to Bell um, website and I'll go directly to this slot light and it will be on the recess luminaire. And here you go, we have a slot light infinity and I'll just go to this infinity and I will go for the wall washer. Okay, so I use the slot light infinity recess and I will look for the wall washer. Uh, for now, let's just go for the body first. So I will use a slot line with 3000 Kelvin to 4000. So it's like dynamic color white. Okay, so I will just uh, select the uh, 2 meters length. And I will customize this one with a 4000 Kelvin wall washer. And then I will say apply configuration. Now this is the wall washer. And let's check the photometry. So it's a wall washer now. So once we select it and configure it, let's go and uh, transfer it to Dialux. I say save and then press it here. I'm, go I'm using Google Chrome and I'm going to Dialux software and now it's here, the, the slot line or slot light on our active thumbnail. And I go to the plan view and the offset of this one, I will assume it's six. Uh, 0.6 or 60 centi. So how to do that is go a ref, uh, draw a reference line and then type 0.6 and then parallel of one. Okay, so if you miss that one, you can just rotate it or make it a negative value. And then go to light tab and uh, luminaire tab and then draw a line arrangement and then click it from here to there. And you need to open your photometric uh, value and see, you can see now that the light is going towards to that side. So you need to rotate it, press this one and then rotate. And then you may add one more and say, click this one to make it a straight one and maybe add five to make it a continuous line. So let's go and check in the 3D view. And since I said it's a recess one, so you need to make sure it's a recess part. So go and move it and there you go. Okay, so let's go and check. So if you want to see the, the effect now, you can click this one and uh, select the luminaire. It's the one piece and you can see. Okay, so you can still see the scallop effect and that is not good for a wall washing. So what we're going to do is we will adjust the offset from the wall and we will make it one meter. So just click on that uh, line arrange, uh, lines and labeling or reference line and then press one meter. 
Now you adjust it and right click and move it to one meter. There you go. And then let's go and check in calculation, see if it looks really uh, uniform in wall washing. Okay, so now it's uh, it's 80 lakhs on the point eight from the ground, but we want to have a calculation surface on the wall. So what we're going to do is go to the calculation object tab, press this result on surface, click that one and then click on the wall. And now you can see the wall washing effect. And if you want to see the false color, go and click it. And also if you want to add the value chart, yes, you can do that. Okay, so this is the effect of the wall washing now. It doesn't seem to be a uniform one, yeah? So what we are going to do is maybe we can still adjust more. This is slot light. So go to the light tab and then move it a little more. Okay, so we need to make sure it's pre precise in offset. So let's go and offset it 1.5 from the wall. And then click the luminaire, move it, make it in the center and then run a calculation again. Okay, so I think this is perfect because painting is now located on the top. And yeah, I think this is better, but you can see those dark lines on the top. And if you can see here, this um, museum or exhibit hall also have this dark line there. Okay, and to make sure that we have a perfect exhibit hall, we need to add a painting here and maybe a sculpture there. So if you want to add a sculpture, go to the 3D warehouse and select a sculpture. Just type sculpture in the search tab and select the sculpture that you want to add in your presentation. And this time I'm just going to use maybe this one. Yeah, it's 3MB. Okay, so let's just download it. Okay, I'll just sign in first. Okay, so I'm now signed in and I will select that sculpture now. Okay, it's here. Okay, so let's download it now and select 2019. Anyways, we will go into use Picon Planner to convert it into that 3ds file. So I'll just save it in desktop. I'll say 3D and then save. And then I'll go to my folder and open this one into Picon Planner. Okay, so pick and planner is now ready and I'll say this one is in meters and I'll make this one as three uh, meters so it will adjust smaller and then press OK and this is now the 3D file that we're going to use. So let's go and rotate it to check if there is anything aside from this one. Okay, I think there's a, okay, let's go and zoom extent. Okay, so I think this is fine. So what I'm going to do is file and then export and then geometry and then save this one as a 3ds file or 3d studio file. And then I'll just say 3d and then, oh, and then save it. And then I'll say export. Now I'll go to my dialogs Ibo file and then I'll import that 3d file. So I'll go to import and then I'll select a furniture file. I'll go to the, my desktop and select this 3D and then open and I say yes and go to the plan view and zoom extent and where is my 3D object now? <laughs> I'm not sure where it is. Maybe it's in the site. There you go. So I'll go back to the site tabs to, to check everything from all the sites. So as I zoom extent from the site tab. So I'll click and move and place it there. Zoom extent again and then rotate, then I'll place it like this, right click and move, there you go, and then go to the plan view, see if it fits there, and then go to the 3D view inside the room, and it looks good. I will now close those reference line, and also I don't want to see those arrows, the, the reference, and also the label, so I will close this one. And if I want to highlight this sculpture, I can also do that, but for, for, for the meantime, let's go and uh, add one painting here. So how to do that is very easy. Just go and click an object tab, maybe a um, box one, select this cube, and then I will uh, place it individual, zoom extent, and I'll place it here. And I'll just scale it, right click, scale, and make it slim. And if you want to have a precise size of this painting, you can just, uh, 
put the label here I will say this is two meters and this is say three meters and go to the 3D view if you if you want to appreciate it and then right click and move up and if you want to make it three meters by say two there you go and the height from the ground is 2.5 if you want to make it two from the ground then there you go so the, go to the plan view if you want to make it more more slimmer yeah there you go so if you want to add painting on that so go to the texture tab and then uh, apply a texture material but before that let's go and select um one painting and uh, use that one in our presentation okay so i'm just going to say select this one uh, i need a vertical one and i need a more positive painting <laughs> okay so let's go and select this one right click copy image or save us and then say painting then save and then go to um dialogs ego file and then create a texture material and then select this painting okay so i think we need to adjust the painting first because it also um copy the the other guy so open it with oh okay yeah we can still adjust it here no need for the uh, paint so let's go and create a texture material and then select that one and then open and then apply material there you go and then we can adjust it from here if you don't if we don't want to add this guy to our painting okay so you can just adjust it There you go so i think this is fine so let's go and see and if you want to add a texture on the ground say a total concrete go to the texture and then select it here go to the catalog materials and then select the concrete and apply if you want a polish one just go and drag this cover co reflective coating say 10 percent and then apply material and now we have a concrete flooring and let's go and run a calculation okay so now here it is and it looks very good so let's see if we if, if we want we can also do the rendering and see how it looks so place your camera precisely like this one and then if you want you can also do the ray trace so go to the export tab and click the ray tracer and select the size of the picture that you want to generate I will choose 1,200, uh, 1,280 by 720 pixels and then start ray tracing. And it looks good. So because we don't have glass or anything, you can see the reflection on the floor is a little not so nice. But if you want to add some reflections on this wall, we can also do that. So how to do it, let's go to the construction tab and then click on this wall and then add a reflective coating of say 30% then apply say yes and then let's go and render it again there you go and now let's go and ray trace it okay so you can see now the reflections on the other side of the wall and a little on the ground so that's how is it is so guys if you have something like you want to copy from the picture so the clients wants to do something like this in your design just go and check where is this painting and find out which luminaire is used so you can also use it in your lighting design okay so that's it for now and i will create more videos on how to use the lux evo this one i did not um consider any lux level on the wall i just yes i got say yeah i got 102 lux and uh, it, as per the museum lighting design, you need we need to find out the exact lux value on the painting. Okay, so let's just forget the requirement standard requirements right now and just concentrate on the visual effect of the lights on the wall. All right, so see you again on the next video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and 
and enroll in, uh, in some of my Udemy courses, which are still penalized, some of them. And of course, don't forget, if you want to read some of my books, go to amazon.com and check some of my amazing books. Okay, so see you again and have fun learning. Bye.